this is a accessory add-on shaft setup for a conventional pipe cart, a metal easy entry cart. Okay, this is the team pole setup. It's going on to the cart that the previous shafts were set up for. So I'll just kind of go over the features of this. First thing I wanted to say though is that all the nuts on here will be lock nuts when it's finally installed. I have standard nuts on here it's just so it's easier to take the thing apart to box it to send it off. So I have a neck yoke on the front of this. This is set up for a, horse, a pair with basically draft style collar and hame harness. So she'll be carrying her weight of her pole with the neck yoke on her collars. The end of this is pretty light. Like this, I don't think weighs more than about, no, maybe eight pounds on the end. I'm always in a constant struggle between heavy enough that it doesn't break and as light as possible. So now, this is on a double bearing setup. This can turn and swivel. Now, you can also lengthen basically the effective length of your pole simply by turning this around. That gives you three inches longer. The length of the pole is also adjustable with these set bolts. This pipe will slide in and out of here. You can also raise your pole if you have really small horses. You can raise your pole simply by turning, taking this off and, un and bolting it on the other way, so then this, these will be pointed up where you want them, but that raises the pole that much more, you see. This whole thing disassembles to knock it down into a box at a, to make the shipping cost reasonable. Inside of this pipe here is a section of heavy wall pipe in here add strength. Okay, this whole team pole setup will disassemble to fit into a box for shipping similar to the same size box as the shafts. So you can, this will slide out, you can pull the bolts, this section here comes out. No part of this is any longer than this section of pipe. There's a heavy wall section inside of here that adds strength to this base. With the base of a pole, particularly a solid pole on a cart, you need to have strength in this back half of the pole, not the front half. That can be light. But you need to have strength here. This is set up to bolt onto the mount that I made for the shaft set. So if the cart mounts are above here, this drops this pole down a bit to better suit the horses that are fitting into this particular cart. The pole can be adjusted up or down with these set bolts on this adjustable arm. This mount bolts right into the lower shaft mounts on the cart. I have a nice low line, low double tree, as low and as back as I can get it, close into the cart. I don't like the setup being out in front of the cart any further than it has to be. I'll just say that when you're putting a team pole on a cart, it's important to have the proper balance. You need to have a little bit of weight on that pole, but no more than necessary to keep it down. You don't want that team pole lifting up because there is nothing in a team harness that prevents that from coming up. Not like a set of shafts with, with shaft loops and an overgirth. So you need to have this set up properly and you need range of adjustment in order to do that. So between the, the height of this pole being adjustable, the length for the horses, all these adjustments, and being able to move the cart seat ahead and back, you can get this set up to where it actually works. Uh, there's bearings in all these pivot points once again. There's no slop, no bang, and they're un nice and quiet. The only thing that makes noise on this setup is a carabiner fastener to hook your trace ends on. So it's a quiet, strong setup that I think will work really well. And like I say, it's four bolts to take it off. Two here, two here. You can take this whole setup off, put your shaft system on, and away you go. Done deal.